little over a year ago, I did a review on the G-Wolves HDX, and I honestly thought that this mouse was going to be one of the smallest, lightest weight mice that I would ever put my hands on, test, or review, and I was wrong. I thought this was going to be the closest thing that I would come to a fingertip mouse, but I actually have a fingertip mouse. It's significantly smaller, it is only meant for fingertip, and I only have one question. Does size matter? Let's get into it. So the HTR comes in around 28, 29 grams. This one personally for me comes in at 30. It's the non honeycomb version, just the mouse. It doesn't have the sides uh, punched out. In terms of build quality, I haven't had any issues with build quality at all. There's no creaking, no flexing really anywhere on the mouse. The only thing that I might be able to mention is a little bit of side flex if I try and pull the mouse buttons up at the top, but that's nothing that you'll notice in game. So at least overall build quality, fairly solid. There's no coating on this mouse. So for those that know me, I mean, you can even see it now. I have sweaty hands. I had a little bit of an issue holding it with my thumb. I do get pretty sweaty on my thumb. So I did have less of a grip here so i would definitely put some grip tape here overall at least in terms of the shape i was honestly really surprised so i never really thought that i would really ever test a fingertip mouse because for me it's like look i might use something that you know i might have a little bit more of a palm grip but for the most part i mean maybe outside of a gpx but for the most part anything that i've used it's a lot closer to claw whereas this is 100 percent fingertip and it's not something that i ever really thought that i would truly test or really give a chance but i was honestly really surprised in using this this is basically my grip so i have my thumb really right under where both of the side buttons are i'm holding it on the sides like this and then I have my uh, fingers straight down the middle. I do really like the finger grooves that they added on this mouse. I felt like the finger grooves were really comfortable. Side buttons were pretty good, at least in terms of the size of these buttons. This is like not even half the size of the HDX. So this is even, these have even smaller side buttons. Um, overall, I didn't have any issues using it on Apex. It's definitely not something that I would recommend for Fortnite or anything where you have to use the side buttons a lot. Clicks and the switches were definitely a massive improvement. The original HDX had zippy switches, which I didn't personally have a huge problem with, but they are fairly heavy compared to a lot of the mice that were coming out at the time using the Wano Blue Shell Pink Dots. And funny enough, this is exactly what this is using. So they moved away from the heavier zippy switches and they're using the uh, Wano Blue Shell Pink Dots, which feel really good in, in this mouse. When we talk about the skates, it uh, came with the stock dot skates. These perform pretty well. Um, personally, I definitely enjoyed using this on slower pads. So right now I'm using the Eclipse by Odin. I tested the uh, Saturn Pro uh, by Lethal. And having this mouse on both of those pads honestly felt really good. And overall performance, I didn't think I would use a full fingertip grip mouse like this ever. But in trying it i was honestly really surprised overall gameplay i used this for apex i used it for call of duty i played a little bit of diabolical rogue and overall i mean i performed very well the mouse performance felt great and really just my performance in general i mean i felt like the tracking was really solid um target switching was incredible I think if anything, tracking heavy games, um, at least whenever it came to Apex at long range, I had a little bit of an issue sometimes, but close range, I mean, even playing Diabotical, Call of Duty, um, I felt very confident using this mouse, which again, I was very surprised by because I didn't think I would really enjoy a full fingertip mouse, but I have really enjoyed using this mouse. It does come with a 3395, so, I mean, that's been typical across the board for a long time. And the last thing that I would mention is compared to the original HDX, for those that originally got this at release, 
this battery was terrible. Like you could use it for like three minutes and it was dead. And at least the updates that they've made over time, the HTX have got, has gotten significantly better in terms of the overall battery performance. And even for something smaller, using the HTR, the battery performance, I have not had an issue with at all. So they have definitely made a lot of improvements from the original HDR, both with the clicks as well as just updating the, the battery over time. <coughs> so is the HDR worth it? Personally, I think it depends on the person that you're talking to. Whenever you're talking to me, I tend to use more claw grip mice. That is what I lean towards. That is what I use That is what I mean and it's going to continue like i go towards claw grip mice because that's what's more comfortable for me but there are other people that prefer prefer palm grip mice and pre they prefer fingertip mice and whenever you're talking about a fingertip mouse the shape honestly blew me away i mean this is really comfortable again the the finger grooves on this mouse the overall uh, just the overall shape, the comfortability that I get from using the mouse, even in that, the performance that I would get with any other mouse on the table is identical. I mean, if I'm playing Kovacs and I'm doing a tracking scenario and I use the GPX or the thing, I use the HDR, it's almost identical. I mean, there's no, it's not like a drastic change where I get this massive I get this massive change or update whenever I'm using it. I mean, it is identical. It's it's close. There's not a huge, massive change. So is it possible to use in other games? Absolutely. Would I use it for Fortnite? No, but can I use it for Apex, Call of Duty, Diabolical Rogue? Like pick your other game here. Yeah, I could 100% use that in any other game that I want to play. And I have been using that for any other game that I want to play for the last couple of weeks. So is it worth it? Yeah. I mean, if you're a fingertip enjoyer, I mean, I would definitely recommend trying it out. It is a little pricey at $150. So, I mean, is it worth the price? Again, I think that's going to be dependent on who you're talking to. I think for those that are interested in fingertip mice, this is a really good mouse. I mean, the shape is comfortable. The fingertip grooves are perfect. And when you're talking about the performance getting... 4K, 8K at the performance that it has. I mean, this is a very good performing, very comfortable mouse. So if you're interested in using this mouse, I would definitely recommend trying it out. If you have any questions, feel free to throw them in the comment section down below. And with that, I will catch you all next time. Start a riot.